So the final game is this we're going to play. So, so Pete's got his, got, got the, and this will be the game. From the very, very beginning, this is going to be the game. It's going to be, can I get my elbow to his hip, or can he stop my elbow getting to his hip? This will end up being the game. Yeah? Do you want to move your foot up? Yeah, just because I'm going to bump you always. So if I, see, if I see anyone has their foot back, where, where have they usually not got close? And he can put his hand there instead, but then this causes him another problem. Is that I'm now on his hip. Right? So it's important even when we're setting up, we're making sure our partner's got the, the foot in the right position. Right? It's fundamentally correct. So as I'm trying to bridge, that foot really wants to be thinking. It's back to this concept of like the skinny X that Franklin Thorne talked about. If this is the further down that this is, no, he it was, actually. So look, even here, I can move Pete. Because his foot isn't in line with my X yet. So now he's bringing the, the he's shortening the, he's making the, the X smaller that I can go into. Yeah? And we're back to this thing of, if I'm really going for this, I, I want to get my feet outside so that my elbow's in, and I'm going up. I'm going up. Yeah, and then he, the more he curls that heel to the ground, uh, that's heavy. So this becomes the game. But if I can get my elbow onto this hip, I can always cause him problems. Even if he keeps this bottom knee super tight as well, I can start to cause him problems. Because what I've just got to really then start doing, just like scarf fold, is walking my hips under and getting under him. That's, that's the basic idea of it. So he doesn't want me to have that arm. So this becomes the game. He's going to set up with almost like, as much as he can, he's going to mirror this position the other way around. I still think you might have an elbow to get on your arm. But I've already stolen them. So what, what, what would he do here? He'd come under for scarf hold, right? He's going to try and sit through. So go back. But I don't want him to even let, I want you to get your arm, I want him to mirror the position, and I want his elbow to duel like with swords. I'm trying to get my elbow to his hip, and he doesn't let me have it. So, I'm just fighting to connect this. And, I'm, and if, if I feel he starts pulling this, the minute he pulls, I bump. That again. So I'm trying to get, even from the setup, he's going to try and keep that elbow in, so don't let me have it from the setup. We'll play around with it. I can try and get this elbow in. See at the moment, his hand is on my elbow. And we're just playing this. I get the hand to the elbow, and he gets the hand to the elbow, and we're going to play this. If he starts to pull, I bridge. So every time he pulls my elbow, I bridge him. If he keeps his weight back, I'm going to go knee to elbow. He starts trying to pull. And that's the game. That's the game. Every time he pulls here, he, and he really pulls, but I think, oh, I can't get my elbow up. No, that's fine. I bump him. So every time this happens, I do this. Every time. If he's not really, he's just getting his hand there, it's like he's placed a, placed a couple of chips on it, I, I don't really need to worry too, I'm just going to keep shorting. Because he's not putting enough weight on for me to go, oh yeah, I really care about that. So I just start walking everything in. And that, that is the sensitivity game. He's trying to put just enough. But be aware that the minute he starts moving his chips over that way and putting more weight on it, he starts taking weight off the other way. How much do you put? I need a precise amount. Not, oh yeah, all my chips on this. Urgh. Oh, the ball landed over here. Yeah, I've got to kind of spread it. Let's give that a go. With a 